my uh, first question to you is that your book rewriting indian history uh, makes the case that india's greatness is not limited to our history but in fact it continues till today could you please tell us what inspired you and what motivated you to make this case and so you know i have been living for a long time in india and uh, most westerners you know come to india because they feel that they can give something to india but in my case i felt from the beginning that india was giving to me that there was a knowledge in this country a very precious knowledge which uh, used to be you know uh, roaming around the world that some civilization like egypt or greece or you know the celts knew about but which has been lost to most of the countries and in india that knowledge still exists you know, what, what is the purpose of life what is birth what is death you know, what is consciousness what is an avatar how god manifest himself or herself at different times using different scriptures and so the moment i came to india i felt that knowledge and i felt that i had to give back something to india hence all the books that i have been writing and the fact that i always felt that indian history was not written as it happened but as you know people wanted it to happen particularly you know the colonizers of india and then later you know those who took over from the colonizers and who had a vested interest in showing in downgrading india you know because mm -hmm. most of indian history first the dates you know have been predated you know, if you take the vedas for instance they much older than the, it is there in the history books you know and then there are many theories uh, on the history of india which are false like the aryan invasion theory you know which says that white people came to india they colonized the dravidians and the tribals they imposed you know the hindu religion the caste system and hence oh there is a divide in india which we can still see today today there are still some politicians who say we are the original inhabitants of india and uh, we have been invaded so so it's very important to correct indian history and i felt it was my duty uh, to do it as well as i could and i have done it i have done it and i think i have done it well because there are a lot of information available it's not like you have to search long and far but it is there it is there you know there are so many so much information so i have tried to rewrite indian history as it happened not as it had been written hence all my books and the latest one is called an entirely new history of india which came out recently and there from you know all the controversies from the fact that uh, you know alexander the great was supposed to conquer india so easily but actually was wounded and died from his wound he encountered fierce resistance in india he had a lot of trouble in india but on the other hand he, he was interested in indian philosophy he talked with sanyasins and sadhus and was fascinated by the knowledge that existed in india as i, as I am today you know 2000 years later to ashoka or the the myth of ashoka having converted to buddhism because he saw the aura was in the kalinga uh, battlefield but actually ashoka's conversion to buddhism was more political because there was a tussle between the jains and buddhist at that time you know and they they were vying for the attention of emperor and king so so to counter the jain uh he converted to buddhism so there are so many controversies and i have gone through each one of them and tried to as much as possible show what happened in reality this is my contribution namaste we hope you enjoyed this chitti media content please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar